why on earth are the Women's World Cup gold celebrations for all mm. these countries a song from the 1990s? Why not? It was huge at the time. Still I used, is. I yeah. danced around a few clubs to that, let me tell you. <laughs> which is why I've got particular pleasure in introducing Gala Rosato, singer and songwriter of that incredible double platinum track. It's great to see you this morning. Why on earth do you think it's taken off at the World Cup? Um, well, I don't know the exact reason why it's being used in the World Cup, but, you know, I, I can tell you that, let's say I'm not surprised that the people brought it back. There is a justice behind this story that I probably, I am the only one who can see as the artist and writer. The song, actually, the, the meaning of the song, um, it's a very complex, it sounds like a very simple song, but it's not a simplistic song at all. There is a, there was a lot of thinking, a lot of intention behind it, a lot of meaning. Um, at the time I moved to New York City and uh, I noticed the incredible disparities between people, among people and the inequality that I didn't notice as much growing up in Europe. And in New York, they were so evident. And um, I started reading a lot about Buddhism and Taoism, and um, it was for sure a fight the power song, a social criticism to um, this wheel that keeps us wanting more, getting more, buying more, uh, always thinking that the future will bring some sort of happiness that doesn't really arrive from the material uh, per se. And uh, so the, the song is a song about fighting the power, but it also has an energy behind it that I remember, you know, that, that it, it is, I remember having at the time, but it's actually a little bit the essence of who I am. That is this resilience um, and this desire to um, align with your beliefs and align with your passion before you're looking for anything, before you're trying to go in the world and grab something. Uh, the power that we have as people is to align with with our meaning here yeah. in this world. Well, it was pushing boundaries then, Gala Rosato, just as the women in the World Cup are indeed pushing boundaries with women's football. And perhaps that's one of the reasons why it's been so popular and such a positive track as well. Positive, and we yeah. certainly hope it bodes well for our Lionesses as they head to the final against Spain from where you're speaking to us this morning on Sunday morning. Thank you very much.